guys, how's it going? I'm doing all right. I got inspired to make this video by the lovely Lauren Desgrama. So yeah, I thought I would read my psychiatric hospital records. I only have records from one hospital stay and it was a voluntary commitment and I needed them because I needed them when I applied for disability. But I think that um, you are entitled to your hospital records. So if you just call up the hospital that you stayed at, um, you should be able to ask them what the process is for obtaining your records and they should give them to you. Um, also, this book is behind me and it's really good. So I thought I would share it. The Bipolar Disorder Survival Guide. Um, yeah, I think some of you guys already have this and have read it, but if you don't know much about bipolar or you're new to your diagnosis or you just want to fucking learn everything, then get this book because it's really handy and it's really useful. Um, so anyway, on to the records. Um, so I'm sorry, this is going to be maybe a little bit repetitive because like, I don't know why, but they like write the same shit <laughs> like for when you first came in and then they summarize like when you leave, like your discharge and like what was going on when you came in and what's going on now when you're leaving and I don't know. So I'm sorry if it's a little bit repetitive, but whatever. Sorry. <laughs> um, all right. So anyways, okay. So Miss Lefter, because you know what I did there? Amelia Lecter is not my real name, Troy. <laughs> um, so Miss Lecter is a 25 year old Caucasian female who currently lives in St. Louis, Missouri. Informants. Information of this report was gathered by interviewing the patient, reviewing their me the medical records and discussion with the nurse practitioner student who also interviewed the patient. The patient has a long history of mood problems. She actually started to kill herself at age 14 when she attempted an overdose on pain pills. She has attempted to kill herself on other occasions as well. She, for the last week, has been attending the intensive outpatient program in blank and mentioned that she is having continuing thoughts of suicide and that there are pills available. She also says that she hears voices telling her to take an overdose and so it felt that it was necessary that she should be admitted for safety. She also admits to visual hallucinations. She sees shadows and she says that the shadows are not always in her peripherals but are sometimes directly in front of her. She has episodes of high energy and decreased sleep. She has poor concentration. She says her appetite is okay but she looks very thin and gives her height of 5'7 and weight of 120 which is certainly thin for her, certainly thin for the height. God, you guys, I wish I liked that as well. Um, her energy again fluctuates. Her concentration is off. Her sleep is variable too. Sometimes she does not sleep anywhere near enough. She has always, she always has thoughts to hurt herself. She does have a history of having been a cutter when she was a teenager. She says that she has not done it for about a year. She denies starving herself or making herself throw up. Seriously guys, I'm not anorexic. I didn't look anorexic when I weighed 120 pounds. Really? Come on. Um, she says she has social anxiety disorder. She says her anxiety has been much worse since she has been here. She also says that the voices have been worse for the last four days, but they have been going on for a while. And the current medication she is taking is Clonopin, Wellbutrin, Latuda, and Depakote. Um, and, um, well, okay, so I don't know. Um, it says admitting diagnoses is bipolar disorder, depressed or psychotic features versus schizoaffective disorder, bipolar type. It says that her current GAF is 20 and highest in the past 12 months is unknown. Gosh, that is so bad. GAF, if you don't know, like general area of functioning, that's probably completely wrong, but it's like your ability to function basically, and zero is the lowest, 100 is the highest, and they assessed me out of 20, so that's cool. Um, let's see, 
past psychiatric history treatment. She first attempted suicide at age 14 by overdose. She's attempted suicide three times. She has had one prior admission to blank in March of 2015 because of a suicide attempt, taking a handful of Vicodin. I don't think that's true. I think I took something else. Maybe I took Vicodin. I don't know. Um, let's see. Um, her current psychiatric provider is blank. She has been diagnosed with bipolar disorder in the past. Um, she denies any drug or alcohol use currently. She says it all stopped when she was about 18. Um, let's see. Okay, mental status examination. This is a 25 year old Caucasian female who looks her stated age. Her appearance is somewhat peculiar and she has her hair partially colored purple. <laughs> Um, and then it just kind of like goes on to say that um, I am like um, my mental state as far as like cognitive abilities or like knowing who the president is and where I am and the date and time, like knowing, knowing that kind of stuff is okay. So that's basically all that says. Um, she has adequate intelligence to benefit from treatment. She has some family support. Um, and then this is a dis discharge summary evaluation, uh, bipolar one disorder, most recent episode mixed, severe with psychotic features. Um, okay, or schizoaffective disorder. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. Patient denies current suicide ideation, homicidal ideation, um, psychosis and self injurious, but did experience fleeting suicide ideation and had thoughts that she was an animal and feeling that things were grabbing her in bed last night. She overdosed on Advil on 3 1 2015 and was sent to blank. She was transferred to blank for treatment and stayed for four days. She has been experiencing some mental health concern, concerns since her discharge, but nothing that has made her feel that she was losing control. Patient reported random moments of psychosis. There are times that she can rationalize the psychosis depending on what it is. Patient reported that she is still experiencing manic episodes, racing thoughts, and has some anxiety. Patient has a decrease in appetite, is experiencing difficulty with falling asleep because she couldn't stop talking. Patient's affect and current mood is incongruent with her recent behaviors. Patient is able to maintain ADL, I don't know what that is, and sometimes she forgets to take her medication. Patient denies history of abuse, neglect, and trauma. Patient drinks occasionally and denies substance abuse concerns. Um, client presented with symptoms of bipolar, Client attendant and actively participated in five session drug group th therapy. Um, client did not respond well to CBT and handouts worksheets. Overall, the client's psychosis wor worsened, suicidal ideation increased, and was assessed for inpatient admission. Um, and let's see. That's like the same. Thing. Okay, let's keep on going. See, like I said, they like repeat themselves in here. So, um, let's see. Uh, let's see. Um, goes to her doctor at least monthly, if not more, for bipolar mix of psychosis. Feel she's not doing well and similar to when going to ER, i.e. mood swings from manic to severe depression with suicidal ideation. State she has someone always watching her due to chronic self um, ide suicide ideation for severity of bipolar. States, um, oh, let's see, hallucinations telling her to hurt herself, see shadows that never go away, fingers and hands moving, paranoia with hallucinations reported. Appetite poor, sleep okay at night, but wanting to sleep all day. Depression rated 8 out of 10. 
last manic period three days ago where she says, I was talking nonstop, delusion that she was of a cat or a rat, etc. State she has thoughts of overdose. Um, and let's see. Uh, mental status exam, appearance disheveled, poor eye contact, attitude cooperative, mood depressed, fat anxious, affect flat, speech soft, thought process preoccupied, preoccupied um, thought content, suicidal, helplessness, hopelessness, low self worth, paranoia, grandiose delusions, um, intelligence average, judgment severely impaired, insight limited, um, suicidal, passive, chronic, no intent, self injurious without means, what? attention concentration poor, um, let's see, um, okay, and this is my discharge summary. So it says, the patient came into the hospital because she was having suicidal thoughts. She also was hearing voices that were telling her she was not good. She was having visual hallucinations and seeing shadows at times, sometimes directly in front of her. She was not sleeping adequately at night and she was also having thoughts to hurt herself. She did not have her first suicide attempt today age 14 she also had a history of being a cutter as a teenager but she has not done that for about a year during the course of hospitalization medications that she has been on have been adjusted her latuda was initially increased up to 120 milligrams but then dropped back to 100 because of the side effects that she had we added medications for anxiety increasing her clonopin slightly and also adding visceral during the daytime for additional support for anxiety her sleep has improved her mood has improved she has stabilized significantly she's not having suicidal thoughts she's having She's not having any thoughts of hurting other people. The voices have stopped completely. She is reportedly much better and is not currently a danger to herself or others. Um, and yeah, so then they um, diagnosed me as the discharge diagnosis is bipolar depression, depressed, with psychotic features or just schizoaffective disorder bipolar type, or I then saw my current doctor who was an inpatient doctor at where I was staying and he diagnosed me as schizoaffective after further analysis. So, and current discharge GAF is 40. So fuck, I still don't have a good GAF score, man. I'm like, I don't know, whatever. <laughs> But uh, yeah, so that is my psych hospital ho psych, psych hospital record. Hope you guys enjoyed. Hope it was somewhat interesting and not a complete four. But uh, yeah, um, thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe to me if you have not already, and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.